The Orange County Board of Supervisors is in the process of deciding whether it wants to pursue an appeal of a recent court decision that shut down plans for a housing project in Santiago Canyon. Reporter David Nazar joins us now with all the details. Hi, David. Ed and Ann, activists in the rural canyon areas of Tribuco, Majesca, and Santiago say they're livid and baffled over how OC supervisors, and particularly Todd Spitzer, could still be on the fence over a private development project that has been argued and debated for years, and where the opposing voice is so loud. Really? These canyon activists, part of the Saddleback Canyon's conservancy, say the court got it right when a judge stopped development plans for this land. An OC Superior Court judge said county supervisors violated the law when they approved the 65-home Saddlecrest development. Rudder Development Corporation wants to build the luxury homes in a gated community on about 113 acres at the intersection of Ridgeline and Santiago Canyon Road in the Tribuco Canyon area. Opponents sued the county last year, claiming that, among other things, the environmental impact report used to amend the general plan and specific plan for this land was not done properly. The FTSP, the Foothill Tribuco Specific Plan, requires that any development preserve two-thirds of the area as natural open space. The, the project developer had instead proposed that less than half of the land be preserved as open space, and they considered culverts and landscaping open space. With regard to the traffic, it was that the traffic study was, was inadequate. So it was a, simple, uh, a small sample of traffic, not an extended period of time, so that the impact seemed much less than it was. Last month, the judge in the case agreed. The judge declared that when supervisors approved the development, they failed to comply with the California Environmental Quality Act, the state's land use laws, and the county's own land use plans. Orange County Supervisor Todd Spitzer, who represents the Canyon area and its constituents, refused our request for an interview regarding this story. However, a spokesperson in his office told me that the supervisor is going to do his due diligence to understand this issue, and eventually when it goes before the board again, Supervisor Spitzer will have further comment. It would be prudent for Supervisor Spitzer to stake out his position on this, make it clear to us what his thinking is on it, I think that's only right for him as the supervisor for this district. One supervisor who is talking is John Morlock. We have not met in closed session to discuss it, so that's still being reviewed by county council. Morlock says he doesn't know just yet if he concurs with the judge's decision in this matter. Morlock says what he does know is that the project seems sound when it was brought before the board for a vote. The specific plan was reviewed by county council it was vetted it went through you know f you know a lot of discussion not to sidetrack it but it, it is a third district item and so then third district supervisor bill campbell worked rather uh, strongly to to get some kind of resolution for that property and we were left with the impression as supervisors that everything that was provided to us was uh, going to hold up. Another concern the activists have is that, according to county records, all five supervisors received campaign donations from Rudder Development Corporation prior to the approval of the project. Donations range from the maximum of $1,800 per election cycle to $300. I am concerned about it, and of course they have lobbyists as well. Um, who work the issue behind the scenes and essentially try to change the rules out from under us. Um, I can't really speak to specific contract contributions as far as I know. They were all made legally, um, but obviously they're going to have an impact. Obviously they have had an impact. I don't memorize who gives me money. Uh, I'm not focused in that way, and I don't pursue contractors or uh, potential projects uh, in, in that regard. So when I made my vote, didn't even think about that component of, of, of the deal. Couldn't you see any benefit whatsoever with some homes being built in this area? If nothing else, it would certainly increase your land value around here. We, we absolutely support uh, private property rights and the development of homes. All we're saying and all we said in the, in the lawsuit was just build it according to the plan. 
Now, there is another issue the activists are concerned about, and that's the fact that if this project ultimately does go through, it could set precedent for other developers to cut their way through the canyons of Orange County and, as they say, add to the urban sprawl. And by the way, Ed and Ann, the Saddleback Canyons Conservancy says the area already has enough demolition of the natural hills and valley and the destruction of ancient oak forests, which are being replaced, as they say, by scores of track homes, which are lining their communities. All right, Dave, thank you very much for that. Thanks, David.